Woe is me, consumed by fire, I fall, dragging my shadow to where I don't now even recognize myself. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, El Gran Teatro del Mundo. Welcome back. I know you missed me. Next, the narrator describes the friendship between Rocinante and Sancho's ass. According to the narrator, the original author dedicated many chapters to this topic, but because this is an epic, heroic history, decorum required that they be left out. Still, the narrator devotes many lines to the bestial friendship. He compares Rocinante and the Grey to classical friends, Nisus and Euryalus, and Pylades and Orestes, and he affirms that their friendship is superior to that of humans. One could observe with universal admiration how firm the friendship of these two peaceable animals must have been, and to the shame of human beings who know so little about maintaining friendship among themselves. Our Christian narrator even defends the excesses of Tiriamete here, for men can learn a lot from animals. Let not anyone think that the author digressed, for mankind has learned much from animals. Note the love-hate relation between the narrator and Thidiamete. Sometimes he derides him, other times he praises him. Did you know? Pilates and Orestes are two characters from Greek mythology whose friendship is so strong that it blurs the line between fraternal and erotic love. Squire and knight sleep but they are awakened by another knight and his squire who feed their horses and rest nearby. Don Quixote and Sancho spy on them. Here we have two of Cervantes' favorite narrative techniques. He describes acting and speaking as simultaneous events. Saying this and lying down on the ground happened at the same time. And he indicates that one character wishes to speak to another when he is interrupted by the actions of a third. Sancho wanted to respond to his master, but the voice of the knight of the woods, which was neither extremely bad nor extremely good, prevented him from doing so. The knight of the woods sings a sonnet about unrequited love, at the end of which he tells his lady to strike him. I offer you my breast, be it hard or soft, carve or imprint there whatever you please. Like much of this episode, the sonnet draws on the poetry of Garcilaso de la Vega. Finally, the knight of the woods describes himself as a slave to his beloved, this your captive knight, and he says that he has performed great deeds for her, harsh and difficult labors, and that he has defeated innumerable knights, that you are the most beautiful woman in the world I have made to confess all knights. Among these, all the knights of La Mancha. The sonnet by the Knight of the Woods is inspired by the work of what famous Spanish poet? A. Juan de Mena, B. Pablo Neruda, C. Garcilaso de la Vega. Correct answer, C. Garcilaso de la Vega. When Don Quixote objects, I am from La Mancha and I have confessed no such thing, the Knight of the Woods hears him. Who goes there? Who are you? Recalling Don Quixote's encounter with Cardenio in part one, our knights have much in common, especially their suffering for love. They appear to be friends, although the narrator tells us they will soon fight, in good company and at peace, as if at the break of dawn they did not have to break each other's skulls. This is all typical of encounters between knights in chivalric romances. It also reads like an allegory for the origins of civilization in a primeval forest, the kind of dialectic between two individuals that would drive the thinking of Rousseau and Hegel centuries later. Notice also that when he objects to Sancho's impertinence, the Knight of the Woods asserts the old hierarchical values of feudalism. Never have I seen a squire who dares to speak when his master is speaking. At this point, the squires move away from their masters. Sancho promises to tell his story to the other. He counts himself among the most talkative squires, hablantes escuderos, wordplay that echoes errant knights, andantes caballeros. That's all for now. We invite you to watch our next video. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Pan.
Thank you.